Hi everyone, here we have a fantastic problem where we want to find the area of the three circles, but have very limited information. As usual, if you have an alternative solution, please be sure to leave a comment below. Now we know that the three circles are similar, so they all have the same dimensions. They are tangent to each other at this point here and this point here. And all three circles are tangent to line segment AB at this point, this point, and this point. The circle on the left is tangent to line segment AC over here, and the circle on the right is tangent to line segment CB. So what do we need to calculate in order to solve this problem? Well, in order to find the area of a circle, we need its radius. So the first thing we can do is locate the centers of the circles and construct radial lines. So we have this radial line here, which is perpendicular to its tangent, this radial line, which is perpendicular to its tangent, and this radial line here, which is also perpendicular to its tangent. And this line we can just extend through this circle, through this entire circle, and halfway through this circle to give a final length of 5 times the radius. These radial lines all come from this common center, which we can call D. First, let's find the length of the hypotenuse CB. And because it's a right angle triangle, we can use Pythagoras' theorem to do that. And you'll see why this is important in a minute. So CB squared equals AC squared plus AB squared, where AC and AB are known, 5 and 12 respectively. So 5 squared is 25, 12 squared is 144. That gives us 169. And to find CB, take the square root, which is 13. Next, we need to find out the area of triangle ABC. Okay, to do this, because we already have the base and the height, we can use the formula half base times height, where the base is 12 and the height is 5. 12 times 5 is 60. 60 times a half is 30, so the area of the triangle is 30 units squared. Now, the reason why we need the area of the large triangle is because we can divide the triangle into three separate triangles using point D as a reference, and equate the sum of the areas of the three triangles to that of the larger triangle. So we can construct lines DC, DA, and DB, and this sets up the following. The area of ABC is equal to the sum of the area of CDB plus the area of CDA plus the area of ADB. So we can substitute the formulas into this. Now, because we know the base of each of these three triangles, and the heights are all expressed in terms of r. This gives us the following, where the only variable that we are looking for is r, so we can solve the equation and find its value. A half times 13, 6.5. 5 times 5 is 25 times a half is 12 and a half. 12 times a half is 6. And because these are all like terms, we can add them. So that gives us 25r, and then to find r, we divide by 25, both sides, so the radius is 1.2. Now that we know the radius of the circle, we can go ahead and calculate its area using the formula pi r squared. So substitute r into that, so 1.2 squared is 1.44, so the area of the circle is 1.44 pi. And because they're all the same, now we simply just need to multiply the value of the one circle by 3. So it's 1.44 pi times 3, which is 4.32 pi, or 13.57 units squared to two decimal places. That is a fantastic question. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have found this video useful at all, please consider subscribing to the channel.